Shalom shalom all praise hani ni nguri etu Yahwa Bahashim Yahwa Shai Bahashim Lakaha Kadash and Abuhana to the elder and apostles of the Mason who do well a peace and blessing and salutation etu yake ya mwa push this truth to the four ends of the heaven and be on the forefront of this speech war to make sure Jerusalem is established as a praise uh, here on Yesia Geni as in the days of all this. So in today's lesson, we are going to have an in-depth look uh, in this uh, word, the land of trafficking, as uh, yes, soon knowing uh, the actual meaning of that word, the trafficking, will you be able to link, uh, see, what went down in the ancient time in relation of what will go down in this present time as through prophecy, man, because the focal point is prophecy. And when you really examine that word, the trafficking, you see, it will link you back to the ancient Canaanite, and which first forwarding today we identify America as the land of Canaan, you see. And that comes through the process of, elim- of elimination. So, what does the word land of traffic really mean? So let's go and read Ezekiel 17 and 4. He, crop- he cropped off the top of his young twig and carried it to the land of traffic he he set it in a thick of merchant. Uh, she, let's, uh, let us go and uh, look that way, the traffic. Uh, she, let me see. So it, is, it means Canaan. Uh, the outline of biblical usage Canaan or a lowland. Uh, Pursuing to the book of Ezekiel, the 37th chapter. It talk about the valley which was full of bone, and that way the valley it simply means a lowland. And so you see the correlation between the ancient canon and a spiritual canon which is America. So let's go back to uh, the scripture. <coughs> Since we have established the, that that way the traffic, it simply means. A Kainan, in which he, when you go back to the history you see, of the ancient Canaanite, they were known as to be a city of merchant. And then uh, their merchandise was, you see, a signage of different uh, seafarer. They were known as the city of merchant or the seafarer. You see. And then uh, they were the first less of people to explore the sea, I see. And they did that uh, to uh, do what you call, it's so called today, to drive traffic. If you want to do merchandise, you need traffic, <laughs> you see. So they did that by the way of the, of the sea. And she, that being said, they are the one who established the sea route uh, to the new world, uh, which is a spiritual canon. You, you see the correlation between ancient canon and spiritual canon. They went over there in the America because it, in the America back then it was a tropical land. It had different resources. It had gold. It had different uh, tropical fruit. It had a fertile land. You see different exotic animals. You see and it was as referred to as the land of Ophir. You see, so the first merchant, merchant really was the Canaanite. You see, that's why you get that word, the land of traffic. <laughs> you see, and then, linking this to America, when you go to America, the economy of America is based upon the fundamentals of food maritime activities and when i say maritime activities it simply means a seafarer you know, people who deal with ships 
and the C. And this is different C root in which Esau is over C. And, and because when you go back to the 19th century, the superpower was uh, Great Britain. They have the mandate to oversee different sea routes. Like now it is America. That's why you see the South China Sea thing. The dispute between the America and the China on the South China Sea. Because, what, because of what? China, they want to be the, the, the guardian of this different sea route. You see? And America, they are saying, no, man. <laughs> why? Because America is the land of traffic, the modern land of traffic. The modern land of Canaan. See, they oversee all of maritime activities. That's why they have all of these different ships, man. Aircraft carrier. Why do you do you think all of these big aircraft carrier are in the, in the, in the big sea, the Pacific and the Indian Ocean? You see, because America is the top, the top dog. So the fundamental of the American economy is based upon it, the sea. That's where America was built to be a manufacturer economy. You see, going back to the discovery of steam engine, uh, which is what happened in Europe. You see, and the whole thing really the American needed, they needed in order for you to learn a manufacturer economy, you need cheap labor and a raw material. <laughs> you see, and where do you get that? You see, you get that in Africa. That's why they came over here in the west coast of Africa to look for cheap labor. See, that's your was your fulfillment of, 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 of prophecy, really. You see, as I read, is a, let us continue reading. He took west of the seed of the land and planted in the fruit, fruitful field. It was the fruitful field, the land of Canaan. Since we have established that the ancient Canaanite, they had a trade dealing with the new world. <laughs> you see. So that is a correlation between the ancient Canaan and modern and the modern modern day Canaan. You see? So <coughs> back to America, they needed what you call cheap labor and the raw materials. That's why you get what we call the middle passage. The middle passage is one among the most the famous passage aside from the Silk Road, man. You see? See? And uh, Esau got to reach through the middle passage, or what we call the triangular. Uh, it was it is it is really called the triangular slave trade, but it was not uh, all about slave. We sold. It was about raw materials, gold and diamond. That's why you have the gold lash, man. <laughs> you see, the gold lash. Uh, Esau lashed into the new world to hold the gold. You see, he took all that gold into England over there. You see, that's where you get the land of trafficking. So, that uh, thing in which made America really rich, you see, the traffic in the sea, uh, which made really America rich right like now, they are, you see, careless. They turned from, you see, a manufacturing economy into a consumer economy. Why? Because they, were, they are careless, they are rich now. They don't need to work. And uh, that's where you get the trans transformation from the third industrial revolution to the fourth industrial revolution. So you, you see how all of this tie in together. As now, uh, people drive traffic in, into their website. They don't need what you call ship dropping. Or what call it, ship lifting and dropping. You you take something physical and drop it. You have what you what you call affiliate in marketing. You can sell something in your basement, but you don't need it to go outside the, and, 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 and ship it physically, man. You see, other people will do it for you. <laughs> That's where you get it. you get the book of Isaiah. Oh, so let me see the book of Isaiah at 21. You see, mm -hmm. we will see. Uh -huh. 21. Let me see. Let me do it like this. Let me do it like this. Mm -hmm. 
Dizzy, is that 21, I think. 21, if not 22. Or 23. It is 23. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 23 and 8 say, Who has taken this counsel against Tyree? You see, the, 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 the Tyrian or the ancient Canaanite. He says, A crowning city whose merchant a prince, see, whose trafficker, the honorable of the earth. This is so really goes into America. The way how America turned from a manufacturing economy into a consumer economy she is acting like a prince of this earth man you <laughs> see they don't have to work man other people work for them especially the chinese now and and and, and you easily to was in america all of you easily to was in america you do all the jobs man you do all the jobs for the for, for the for the white people man it is yes written in the book of, of Ezekiel 17. <laughs> 17 and 5. He took the rest of the seed of the land and planted the fruitful field. He placed it by the green water and set it as a willow tree. You see, waters, and that is the fundamental of merchandise, the fundamental of trafficking. You see, and they say it grew and became a spreading vine of raw stature. You see, so while he uh, this modern day Canaanite who are white people, they they they, they go around as the princes, uh, you is uh, over there, you are in a low stature. You work all of these old jobs, man, and uh, make the American economy go. Uh, see? So America have transformed transforming from this manufacturing country in which it was all based upon we see seafaring into a digital world, <laughs> you see. Uh, that yes goes into that scripture, those who dwell carelessly. I see it was talking about the city of Mechet. Mechet. <laughs> Let's go to the book of Revelation, yes, so I will show you something, you see. You see, the book of Revelation 18 11 saying the merchant of the earth shall weep and mourn over her. For no money buys her merchandise anymore. That was going to trafficking. You see? Uh, even when you are driving your car, there is a lot of car. What do you say? Trafficking. Everybody is competing to use that same same, same load. Like how everybody all over the world is competing uh, to sell something to America. That's where you get that term lobbyist. You see, and not only that, the American economy have transformed to a point where it is convenient for everybody. That's why you have your supermarket, your your Walmart, your BJ's, your Costco's, and whatever you have of there in America. You see, because you live like a prince, and you is that you have been bamboozled because all of this is witchcraft, man. <laughs> you see. Uh, starting from the ancient Canaanites, they were deep into witchcraft to this modern day modern day Canaanite. You see, it say uh, it it continued to say the merchandise of gold and silver going back to the gold rush. <laughs> Precious stone, that's why the, the ancient Canaanites they embarked on a journey to go on the new world uh, to get precious stone and uh, gems, man. Of pure and of fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all that wool. That's how we know America is Babylon, man. <laughs> and when you really go into the book of Ezekiel 17, it was going to ancient Babylon, and which it is interchangeable to, into, 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 into modern day Babylon, which is America. And the old man of verse of five, and the old man of verse of most precious wood, and of brass and iron and marble. You see? Uh, let me see, let me jump to verse 15. It says, The merchant of these things which were made rich by her shall stand afar for fear of her torment, waiting and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that a great city, you see. That way the city it goes into citizen, <laughs> you see. And which you get what you call a municipality, in which municipality is made of, 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 of it is citizen. That was called the fine line. So that was not talking about the, no damning a Vatican city and a purple and skeleton decked with gold and a precious stone and a pier 
when one how a so great it is come to now to every ship must and always a company in ship you see every ship must and always a company in ship that is a focal point of the land of traffic that's why it is when you go to look into that way the traffic it goes into canon you see in hoti as a canonite known for they were merchant you see they did that through seafaring they have a lot of dealing we see we see with tashishi man that's why tari and tashishi are interchangeable i see on the other side you have tari in which it is american now that's a spiritual tari or spiritual land of canani it have a lot of dealing with europe which is that is ta- tashishi if we will <coughs> i see and every ship must and all the company ship or the sailor as many as trade by the sea all praise to your harbor shame your shine man stand your self and they cried when they saw the smoke of a burning saying what city is like into this great city hey she and they kissed that on their head and cried weeping and wailing saying alas alas the great city where any were made rich all that had sheep in the sea the land of traffic that was going to maritime activities man and everything which happened uh, which transformed America from the third industrial revolution to the fourth industrial revolution well as is Edom it is seeking to live like prince while they enslave everybody uh, through the multi b so you see it all tied together man i see and now that traffic is digital that's why even in the air, the, 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 the airport now you have traffic in the supermarket you have traffic in your website you have traffic when you go to buy your license your car you have traffic you see everything is about traffic man and i see all of witchcraft where anyway i made it all, all that had ship with the sea by reason of a cost costliness you see easy it was made easy so the first it was a pioneer of all rich things as the ancient canon so you see prophecy come full cycle you see for one how is she made desolate you see so from there let me see another thing there was something i want to get it is escaped me i see let me get the book of this is the book of isaiah again the book of isaiah 13 there is something i want to show you isaiah 13 in 28 shall never be inhabited neither shall it be dwelled from generation to generation that's what's going to babylon speech of babylon neither shall the arabian pitch tent there and what is the arabian known for commerce always and ishmael it he want to sell you something and when all of this slave trade started it started with ishmael really ishmael came over here in africa to sell something to israel then that something turned into a snare they, they 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 always came here to sell spicy you see and and and, and a pear and everything when i say pear i'm talking about the, those that you wear in your, in, your, in your neck you see you see the arabian will never pitch his tent into the land of traffic because it will be destroyed and when you go to that way the pitch tent there it was going to commerce you see they won't send the traffic to america that was going to trade your merchandise neither shall the shepherd make their fold there so since this i say shall i hope you brothers were edified on to the next thing